Hello everyone, I'm Brett Carver, OSU wheat breeder, Oklahoma State University wheat breeder, and I've been a practicing wheat breeder for about 25 years and a research geneticist for about 35 years. Glad you could join us. So I get this question quite a bit, and, and I'm sure the Wheat Foods Council does as well. How is wheat different today than it was? a century ago. We use that century mark because wheat breeding really got its beginnings in the United States, including Oklahoma, in the 1920s. We're celebrating 100 years of wheat breeding in Oklahoma this year, so it's a very, very important milestone. I would say in a very short sentence, the wheat today is a tougher plant and can do more with less. That about sums it up, do more with less. In other words, we're trying to produce more food more grain uh, than we did 100 years ago with less land area to do it with. And that's, what, that's, the, that's the challenge we're going to keep facing as we move forward as our population grows and our land area for crop production diminishes. So we have to improve productivity. But inside that, there's some other things. We have a plant that today uh, is a little bit shorter uh, than it was 100 years ago and most importantly, it has stronger straw so it can withstand the winds that we see in the Great Plains and else, elsewhere in the country. Greater resilience, and this is part of doing more with less. So it can take cold, it can take heat, it can take drought, it can take stresses from diseases a lot better than that wheat we had 100 years ago.